Hey y'all, it's Laura, and I thought I'd give you a quick peek at my new scrappy space. I just updated my whole craft area, which is in my bedroom, and I thought I'd show you some of the things I've added and changed into my craft space. Okay, so there are three main areas to my scrap space that I wanted to show you. The first is this IKEA shelf, and we'll go through that in a little bit more detail. Sliding over here, I have an art area where I do my painting and play with uh, a lot of mixed media stuff. And then moving over to my brand new desk, which is right under the window, and I love it. Lots and lots of light, which makes me very, very happy. So we'll go over through each area in a little bit more detail. So to begin with, my beautiful Kalex shelf from Ikea. On top here, I just have uh, some kits. I have the top over here all the way. I will try not to make this super shaky for you guys, sorry. Over here on the top right, I have a DIY kit that I'm still working on. I have my Felicity Jane kit. I have uh, another DIY kit that's waiting and a click kit that I'm trying out. And then up here, I have uh, my Christmas and July kit and Let's see, two wedding kits, one for my brother's wedding and one for mine. Down here, I just have all of my albums and some of my favorite supplies. So here I'm using this mostly as a bookshelf, but I do have uh, some pictures stored here, as well as my chipboard. There's some large pieces of chipboard back here and smaller pieces here, all raw. Then over here, I have my beautiful wood veneer collection that I just absolutely love and some cork on the side. The rest of my pictures that are already printed and need to be scrapped live in this container here. And then down below and pretty much all the way the rest of the across of the bookshelves are my albums. Now not all of these are finished. The top row here are all finished. The middle row are about half finished, and the bottom are ones that are in progress. So that's just the best way, I think, to keep mine organized. I do work in multiple albums at a time, so it's easier to just put them away when I can easily find which album I'm looking for. Okay, now we're over to my messy mixed media area. I have my really nice tripod easel. And then underneath of that is my dog Emma's sleeping bed, and also my silver rascog. On the top, I keep my sprays and mists, as well as my Nuvo drops and any tools like paintbrushes, things like that. Uh, down below, it gets a little messier. <laughs> and this is my inks, which get popped in and out of there rather frequently, so they're not all stacked up as neatly as they probably should be. And then down below are my gesso and acrylic paint and distress crayons and heat tool and just anything that would fit down there really. At the top of my mixed media desk there is some raw chipboard and heavyweight cardstock for making mini albums. Those adhesives in the top right are Chloe's. She likes the photo splits and I do not so I keep her separate. These are albums that I'm currently working on and these uh, binders over here to the right hold my uh, stamps and some other things. This is some tape and things like that for my mini albums. This is my fuse tool and all of the assorted components of the fuse tool. Over here I have some markers and sprays that I really like and want to play with. Baby wipes of course. We have some more stamps here, um, some cosmic glitter, stuff and dilutions paints and my old watercolor and my new watercolor set. Down here I have my paint brushes, uh, just some basic writing and drawing tools. These are some layouts that I want to do very soon. This is a broken recipe <laughs> binder that I really want to redo into something kind of artsy. And back here are some files that I haven't figured out what to do with yet. These are layouts that I've finished and need to put away and that in the drawers, it's mostly office supplies here. This one's empty, this one's empty, and this one 
houses my embellishments that are not in kits and I honestly don't use very often into themes and then some faux flowers that I use for my mini albums and sometimes layouts. There are some of the themes that I use. I also have bugs and butterflies, girls and boys, love and wedding. In this bookcase, it's kind of a mishmash of things. It's really just stuff that I wanted to keep very close to my desks. And so I have a bin of tissue paper up in the top left, my Project Life, um, page protectors here. I have bits and bobs in this little rotating carousel. It has some ribbon, it has some rhinestones, a lot of older supplies in there. Um, my ribbon tower, my washi tower. And up here I have my Chicky Studio Design Team kits. I really like this little washi tower box. I got this at Michael's and it's not very neat because it's a little over full, but it's kind of awesome. You can separate by color or by theme if that's how you buy your washi, and it's a really fun way to organize them. Okay, this level is what is immediately at my grasp, uh, at my desk, right over here. So I have um, stacks of white cardstock, uh, glitter foam, and an album that I'm working on currently. I have some kits right here that I'm working through. I have my little Sizzix Sidekick and Texture Boutique embossing machine and then the embossing folders live right there. The dies for this machine are right around the corner hanging on a command hook so that they're within my sights and I'm more likely to reach for them otherwise they just don't get used. And the bottom of this one is largely empty because I can't really reach it so I just have a binder and a notebook and let's see way in the back there is my stamp platform so sorry that was a bit dark but there is no light back there <laughs> and then I have the rest cloud cart that is right next to my desk and on top is my giant stack of thickers and these are mostly uh, in order by color which is the way I would reach for them and then down below, you're gonna see a whole lot of chaos. So here are my punches and this brand new little photo Fiskars cutter that I just bought. And I use my punches really frequently. That's why they're in a giant jumbled mess. And I have two sections of them because I use them a lot. I actually use these a lot more than I use my silhouette. So that is why they're in a bit of a heap. Okay, this is my desk area, which is beautifully lit by this wonderful window I have positioned it under. And this is also an Ikea buy. This was, a, I think it's called a Lindemann desk with two sets of these smaller Alex drawers. And I have two stations here. I have a scrapbooking station here and my workstation over there. And you're gonna see how little I'm using these drawers at the moment because I just upgraded from one desk to two and so I have a little room to grow which is a good thing I think. Okay at my scrapbooking station a couple things I wanted to show you. I have little Ikea bowls over here full of things that I want to use. Wood veneer, resin flowers, some leftover bits and pieces from previous kits. Uh, this little basket has tiny embellishments, tiny heart stickers, uh, word stickers, some adhesive, uh, my favorite stamps right there in the front and a little container of pencils and pens. This is my tool caddy and it has all of my favorite tools in it. So this little tool caddy holds my um, T-square and my uh, couple of pairs of scissors. I have some that are living down here permanently <laughs> along with my double-sided tape, but I have some jelly pens and such some markers that I really like. These are, um, these are the Marvy La Plume markers that I do really love. And of course, this thing, this monster chompy thing that I can't remember the name of off the top of my head. Um, the beautiful L Studio title stamps that I really like. I have some Tim Holtz Alpha stamps back there as well. And then there's this, which is how I film my videos. 
This is just a cell phone holding stretchy arm thing that I found on Amazon. And it holds my phone over my desk like that so that you guys can see my layouts when I'm working on them. This is my work area over here. I have my computer, have some fake flowers just to kind of brighten up the area. I have I just recently bought a little organizing planner thing and it's nothing fancy it's just kind of monthly calendars you know so that I can keep track of my design team commitments things like that and this is just tracking some school supplies I need to buy for the kids this is my bills folder and then I keep things that I don't want to lose <laughs> up here so I have of course my checkbook and all of these wonderful coupons and just little journaling things, ads and things like that, just tucked away up here. So this first set of drawers is in the scrapbooking area, just below it. And in this first drawer I have little tiny bits and pieces that I want to use. I like to use in my layouts like some wood veneer, uh, some brads that I've had forever and need to use up. These are tags that I've either made or are left over from kits. I have a lot of them, but they make it really easy to just grab them out and pop them on a layout. These are smaller alphabet stickers. A lot of them are pink fresh. These are photo corners. And then I have my punched gold and silver and white stars. I do have a little thing of eyelets. I never really got into eyelets terribly much, but I do have some. And then underneath of that are those flip flat pockets for Project Life. Okay, so this drawer is just adhesive foam, uh, vellum, and then my journaling genie on top that I like to grab for easily. This drawer houses my extra adhesive and all of the doilies. And that's pretty much all that's in here. <laughs> I always have a ton of adhesive because I use a lot. Okay, the other two drawers on that side were empty. This side just has my Bible journaling Bible that I just started playing in. I've really, I'm just trying it out to see if I like it. This isn't the Bible that I read. It's just one for playing in and being artsy. And then I have a little silhouette tool thing that I never use. <laughs> in the next drawer, the rest of these are empty other than this one which has just some index cards in it, a silhouette blade, and my three-hole punch. So that's it for my craft room tour, guys. I hope you enjoyed getting a little peek into my space. I'm very excited to play in it, and I really, really love all of the new space. It is so fantastic. And of course, now we have Sleeping Emma. She's always in my craft space. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, bye.